Hello everybody, this is Journaler, and today I'd like to introduce you to a piece of software that I made known as Gwingit. Gwingit is basically an unofficial GUI for Microsoft's Windows Package Manager, also known as Winget. This is kind of like Synaptic, but for Windows. It's not associated with either one, Microsoft doesn't endorse it, you know. Uh, so to install it, I've opened up an administrator Windows PowerShell. So what you want to do is do Winget install Gwingit in it finds it, downloads it, and then after a few seconds it installs it. There we go. Now because I don't have it set to set to be on the path, it won't find it here. See it's not installed. But now that it is installed through there, oh you'll want to do an administrator command prompt because inno setup installers don't get proper permissions at the moment, Winget doesn't, or they don't properly ask for permissions, so you need to use an administrator installer. But anyway, here is the program. So what we want to do first is refresh cache. This basically makes it a lot easier to download and to install um, packages using Winget, rather than having to type it all in yourself. Uh, there are other front ends for Winget, but I wanted to make one I wanted to go in the synaptic like direction now this takes a little while yeah it downloaded and uh, extracted the manifests from Microsoft's own package repository and then it takes a little while to load them all but now make this a little bigger but now it's right here so what I'm going to do is click here to search or press or press Control F to focus it. I'm going to uh, add Notepad++ and Open Shell or Classic Shell to my to the list of packages to install. And uh, now that it's searched, here are all the Notepad++ packages. Now there should only be one, but at the moment I don't know how to have just one entry because I'm getting all the manifest files. I want to have it like Synaptic where it displays each one in a window but just the latest one in here. So double click on I can double click on it. For some reason sometimes it puts in the wrong spot. I can right click on it or I can click over here and select what I want it to be. I have added the latest version of Notepad++ to this. Okay there's a hyphen there. So now here's the... Well, previously classic start menu but here's um, open shell now we're gonna go to apply changes and at the moment the confirm changes button doesn't do batch package installs or whenever it'll support it uninstalls so you just have to go in here double click on them or press enter and you just wait for it oh it asked for administrative permissions but you just there we go. That's installed. And now, I don't know if this one will work. Okay. It didn't work on that one. We're going to have to go run Gwingit as an administrator. I'll be right back. So, yeah. Well, I guess I won't skip it. So, run it as administrator. And you'll have to refresh the cache again because it goes into a different file. Now it's extracting. I would like all of these windows to be just one window rather than multiple windows opening up. The faster your CPU is, uh, the faster or the more responsive this will be. You can't move this around right here. I want it to allow that, but you can't. A slower CPU and less RAM might kind of lock up a little, but a faster one won't as much. So, oh. let's get open shell. Yeah, see, it goes over there sometimes. I don't know why. Now we've set it to install, and then and then I'll press enter right here, and this should install it. Yeah, there we go. Successfully installed. So now when we click start, it'll ask what we want to do. I'll just click OK, and now we have classic start menu. 
and we can go under all programs and see that we have Notepad++ as well. So here's Notepad++ about there we go. Um, and oh yeah, and start menu, open shell, start menu. So that's in here too. Um, basically, that's pretty much all there is right now. Just search under the package list menu. It base the package list menu basically duplicates these functions in the right click menu. So it might move some stuff around. I might move this into its own drop down. Refresh cache, apply changes. So you can select the package. So you can basically use it. I'd like more of these settings like selected package, do nothing and install. I would like to I'd like to have those be changeable with the keyboard, but I haven't gotten that far yet. But I would like to have it be as quick as possible to use it. Like you can just use it with the keyboard. You don't even have to use the mouse. But it's not how it is yet. So, but even so, you can still use the alt menu. Use the alt p s a i and it just changes it. But I'd like it control, you know. You can also hit control R for refresh. I'll cancel that right quick. I want it to cancel it faster rather than having to take the entire thing and do it. And even if you do cancel it, it still has to reload this list here. And that's only because it clears the list when it starts updating. So it has to put the list back in. So you're not getting the new stuff, you're getting the old stuff, but it still has to put it back in there. Uh, canceling the update is not allowed once it starts copying the manifest, so if you want to cancel it, like hit escape early on and yeah. If you hit close here, it'll kind of seem to lock up, but you can move this around while it's, you can move it around while it's downloading the update the zip file. At the moment, it uses Microsoft's the package list in Gwinga, I'm not going to open it back up right now. The package list in there is actually pulled from this repository right in here. So all these, all these packages here is what's loaded in there. Uh, Winget itself, Winget itself might not show what's in here. It might not show what's in Gwinget. So this is just the output of the Winget show command it might not show the same stuff so you might have to wait a little while it seems to be around 2 30 in the morning it updated for me when I when after Microsoft merged my manifest in there 2 30 in the morning the next day that's Eastern daylight time it might be different for you I don't know so you might need to wait a little while. Anyway, uh, Gwinget at the moment doesn't have a way to check if the package list, if there were any changes, or if you've just updated it in the last five minutes, or whatever you want. I'm saying last five minutes because that's what Microsoft has for Winget. Um, also, the search command searches in the package ID. So this sometimes can take a little longer. Oh yeah, you see it locked up right there. Yeah, sometimes it can be a little slower. Um, I like it to be asynchronous so that it, so you can move the window around while it's loading it and it doesn't like lock up and stuff like that. But basically if you see right in here, I'll type in 7-zip, it looks for everything in the package ID column that contains that text. So we can search for Microsoft. And as you can see, these are Microsoft packages. And it, it's a little different. It doesn't include the other, like, tag. It doesn't search in tags yet and stuff like that. I would like to have it like that, how Synaptic has a little advanced search thing. I would like to have that. Down here, you can see the, the manifest contents. And you can actually uh, filter, or you can sort by name, by like friendly name, what people would generally refer to it as, or version or description. You can like put it like this and see the description column like that. 
you can just kind of move these all around, even move this like that or whatever, whatever you want. I don't know. Like I change this to install, apply changes and it goes into there. Right now it doesn't know if you have installed it yet or not. That's why status is all unknown. Before too long I want to have it so that there's an option because another Winget UI that exists has an option since it could take a little while to determine if stuff is installed or not. Uh, if you want to clear the search, I just saw this, if you want to clear the search you have to focus it, press backspace and then press enter again and it'll just go back to this. Now if you're wondering where the rest of this stuff the rest of the, the sidebar and stuff like that is, well, in the properties button, you know, like Synaptic. Well, it's hidden right now because it's not finished. But if you open the about window, you can click right in here and it'll show it. Uh, it's definitely not finished yet, but it has search terms, status, custom filters, categories, source, architecture. What I want to do is hide the tabs and just have a drop down. But in the search terms column, eventually it'll be, you can double click on it, puts in the search box, or you can, you can right click on it and clear the search term or clear all search terms. As far as I know, Synaptic doesn't have a way to do that unless you close and reopen it. For now, there is only the search button, but there's going to be an advanced search option. I might change this to search properties and or search search configuration instead eventually because uh, I I don't know. So there's an option to open advanced search right there. It doesn't do anything yet. This search button works the same as this one, but they're hidden. And the goal is to have a close button up here so you can close the sidebar if you want to because it's actually a lot more complicated with it open than like this. Tools there's. I'm planning on having a button to verify the manifest, or actually it should be validate manifest, to make sure that the manifest is valid uh, according to Winget. It's really nice when it says that the manifest is valid, it feels good, but sometimes it's not and you'll have to fix stuff. Package properties button, advanced search, there's also that. Those aren't hooked up yet. Properties is also not hooked up yet. Nothing in there. So that's basically it. Here's the repository for Gwenget itself. And it just has a readme. I should probably make this readme better because it's outdated screenshots. Until I started doing screenshots, I was like, I didn't understand why projects wouldn't have recent screenshots, but now I understand why because it takes a lot of time to actually do the screenshots, you know? But it's kind of, information in here. You don't have to read it if you don't want to, but you can. Uh, and there's like system requirements, the project roadmap, which might change at any time. See here, old ones, and then future versions. These might be shifted around. I might have this, I might have version 0.1.1, .1. have this I might have this feature be in here and have and shift this to this and shift this to this. I might do that, I might not. If you don't want to install it with Winget install Gwinget in admin command prompt or PowerShell window, you can just download it from right here. And there's actually a how to there's a how to use guide right in here as well, how to use it. And I I think it's decent, but I mean, let me know if you need to change it. I'll add the command to install this in the description. You'll need Winget. I'll link to this page in the description. I'll link to this address, the latest release address. I'll link to that in the description so you can install Winget if you don't have that already. I'll link to the latest link for this in there. I'll add the command to install it in the description as well if you just want to install it right away you already have one get you know i think that's about it please let me know if you need any anything else in the comments oh and if you have any feedback please leave them right in here you'll need to do a new issue please make sure that your feedback isn't already in here and then go ahead and open a new issue and that would be nice thank you oh a few bugs i need to go over right quick a few bugs that currently exist. The last package selected displays its details even though, are there, though there are no search results. So if I type that in, still displays that. 
I'd like it to say no search results. I already went over that. Uh, if you select, if you press A, Control A, it'll select everything, and then we go back, and everything is selected. If you choose to install, choose to right click and mark all the packages to be installed. It won't mark all of them. It'll only mark visible packages. So issues are a little mitigated by doing that, but it still does select everything. So that's an important thing to keep in mind. If you move these around, they will not, or they will not stay in that same spot. So that's just something to keep in mind. Goodbye for now.